Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. It's your boy Jumpman Jones. You're now live inside episode 320 of the Kicking Shit Podcast. Joining us, the, uh, joining me tonight behind the mic is D Chocolate Delight, the Woman King. She is the woman. How's it going back there? All is good. <laughs> to my right, it's my boy, the funny, the talented, my man Jails, aka Jelly. Put him on the bread till he's fed. Young Picasso, your GD Super, James, comedian Jelly Fist, the Beyond Don, man. What's going on, my brother? <laughs> Young Picasso, one pointer finger. One index finger. Peace, man. (laughs) 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 And to my left, man, it's my boy, it's my partner, it's my dog, it is Mr. Jukebox Johnny, a.k.a. Crown Daddy, a.k.a. Crown Poppy, or the El Himmador Poppy, the Avion Don, the Terramonic God, the Malargo. Ho, Mr. Still Your Girl, give it right back, because she has hematome. Man, it's my man. Daddy, are you on the radio? What's going on, Jukebox? You already know it is. Thumb, index, pinky, (laughs) rock out. <laughs> shout out to you if you oh, listen to the God. last episode of this podcast. Shout out to you if you listen to this podcast each and every Monday. If you're new here, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeart, oh, SoundCloud, shit. and you can watch us on YouTube. If you are watching us on YouTube, like, subscribe, and comment. Other than that, man, how are you niggas doing? You an idiot. <laughs> I'm just trying to wonder. I'm just trying to figure out. Where that shit came from? <laughs> the nigga throwing a peace sign. I got a sign for you too, nigga. Was you trying to top my shit, man? <laughs> yeah, that's why yeah, I threw three <laughs> You threw two. I threw three, <laughs> nigga. Thumb you in that pink. You trying hard. Yo, man, this nigga's <laughs> ignorant, man. Yo, what's good, man? How are you guys, man? Everybody uh, good? Shit, I'm cooling, man. Just picking back, being bull. We's good. Family's good. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, nigga I, blooded now You know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> Johnny you out of control bro. Know, this nigga out of pocket You in man. that track suit Just oh, out of control man. D how you would nasty <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you would yeah, start that. How you would nasty Don't start that What is that I don't know I stole that shit from The Indianapolis niggas On the 520 podcast Oh okay How you would nasty Nah all is good Alright alright well, this sucks. Uh, <laughs> everybody doing cool. Everybody doing good. Hey, this is what I wish for. All right, let's get straight right. to it. I mean, Fancy right. Job. Like. Fancy <laughs> job titles with simple job. Oh, nah. Damn, I didn't know that was on me. Nah, nah, nah. We, uh, nah, we good. Listen, um, so James' worst fears came true uh, what the happened? other night. Elon Musk oh, hit yeah. the stage Shit. with the uh, humanoid robots, Oh, we man. fucked. Yeah, man. So, yeah, Tesla did had an event. Now, the event was called uh, We Robot. And during that event, he was showcasing the autonomous vehicles that he's about to drop. Oh, shit. Now, the crazy shit was I was on threads early and somebody found um, clips of iRobot and the car that Will Smith drove and the thing that had all them fucking robots in it looks like the cabs that he's trying to do. So they got the Robo Cab is a fully autonomous cab. Then they got the Robo Van, which seats about 20 people. This shit don't have no steering wheel. It don't have no brakes, no nothing. You sit in it, it take you where you going. That's it's the boy. van and the cab. Now, the robots were at the event, working the event. They was handing out gift bags, handing out drinks. I'm not going to lie, man. If you look up the video, this shit looks cool as hell. I'm not I heard uh, 2 chains or something about 2 chains. He, he, he went to the event. Yep. So and I seen the robot in real life when I went to Hawaii. The robot is pretty cool. I haven't seen it in action though. So you said it was handing out gift bags. Handing out gift bags. If you're a clerk, that go your job. All right. You said nah, it was. <laughs> you said uh, it was handing out drinks. Handing out drinks. Bartenders goodbye. Yep. Uh, what else? What else he doing? He walking. Uh, walking around, shaking hands. Uh, it, it had very limited function, but it was walking around greeting people, like you know, just walking around. It escorted the cars out, so okay. they so walked out the same. If you ain't got no legs, you probably gonna get some robo legs. Don't forget That's about the drive, up. the taxi, driving taxi. Yeah, self driving taxi. I ain't fucking with it, but that's what's up. <laughs> oh, taxi drivers been out here. Oh, oh Uber, yeah, yeah. self driving taxi. Oh, if you drive Uber, an Uber, it's a wrap. Yeah, because what he said was the idea behind all the autonomous shit is to get rid of the parking lots to really make carless cities where you hop in the cab it take you where you need to be it's cheaper it don't cost much these shits don't even have a charger they stand over so it's like 
a ground uh thing. It's like when you set your bat your phone on the thing and it charge, you don't put it on the charger, like you the set cordless it on the charger, you just set it on the mat and yes. it charges. So the car just be over something and it'll be charging it. I mean not So Who are you gonna drive? You can still you'll still have a car. You'll still have a car. I think if so. If you want a car. Yeah. When I, I went to car. Arizona and we attempted to do the carless, I mean the driverless car. Mm-hmm. The con to it is, I mean, it is cool. I guess the con to it is we have to walk to meet it. So there are limitations to, like, it coming to get you and providing that front door service. And then where we were being dropped off, it's limited. So then you have to then walk from wherever it drops you off. Mm. And in that essence of 104 degree weather, we got to walk two blocks when we can just get an Uber or a lift to go right to our hotel door. So it's 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 fun. It looks fun. It's a great idea. But I think there will still be a lot of limitations. And we already know he gets a lot of his ideas. I mean, he, he's admitted that he gets his ideas from movies. Mm-hmm. So I'm interested to see what happens. Um, mm-hmm. I, I think it's a little aggressive to say, like, you know, we're going to have all these carless cities. But we may. Maybe not yeah. in our lifetime. But yeah, so it's a start. Yeah. I mean, start. The, a- the AI is young and the information for the cars is young too. Yeah. So like right now I can't get you door to door service, but I can imagine in 10 years you'll be right at your door, right to the next door. Yeah. Like the more information we get, get better with time, the computer, I mean like, like the computer got better with time. The cell phone got better with time. Yeah, I the iPhone true. came out what? 2008. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we in 2024 and that shit is, yeah, it's different yeah. than the one that <laughs> came out in 2008. Measure room for you. Right. You could even take a picture on that joint. Yeah, my now mom. niggas filming movies. Yeah, nah, you can't hold hold that. <laughs> yeah. Movie. yeah, if you know what you're doing, you got this cinematography what, skills. It's not even been 20 years. Yeah, nah, you right. So I'm excited about the robot. To me, the robot is the dopest thing. I I always I honestly never thought we'd get real robots like that look like that. Like I never thought we'd yeah. get robots in our time. Money and ambition will get you there. But I think it's cool because all Alexa is is the beginning of a robot. The, the robot yeah. is designed to help you with day-to-day chores. In the sample video, now this is not real, so the sample video could be made up, but it's like cleaning the kitchen and, you know, doing stuff around the house. So, like, it's a dope idea. Now, the price tag right now is about 20 k That's stupid. So, I mean, not everybody That's would stupid. have access yeah. to a Tesla fucking robot, but... You're paying payments on Eventually, that eventually... It's, it, it's some cool shit. The man. first flat screen was expensive too. Now you get the bitches for 200 bucks. Them shits wasn't no 20K. Nah, but it was nah, at least a G or two. If you go back and live, if you go back and look at how much TVs used to cost, nigga. Hey. What it, so, what you gonna be paying payments on the uh, robot? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> niggas pay payments on, niggas niggas pay pay payments payments on, on Jordans. Yeah. They definitely They're gonna, gonna pay be payments the robot, on a robot. The autonomous pay robot on layaway. On they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They pay payers on their phones. So. If, if you don't pay, rings. that nigga gonna stop cleaning your. House. <laughs> Yo, if you shut down my robot in the uh-huh. middle of spring cleaning. I'm gonna be tired. Go on call. Hey, hey, hey. I'm <laughs> customer service representative. Representative, my robot not working. If you don't pay, that nigga's just gonna start unfolding shit. <laughs> you dirty it back up. <laughs> nah, that shit gonna Put tell trash you. Here with. Johnny, you seem aggressive. <laughs> oh, Let's yeah. take 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. And that's... then it just won't respond to you for 10 minutes. That shit gonna you <laughs> up. Hey, bite. You might start fighting your ass. Imagine yeah, Tesla robot crazy. in the hood. I don't mean nothing, enough to you to make payments on me, nigga. That shit Robot crazy. just start whooping your ass. Tesla oh. robot in the hood gonna be crazy. The first nigga who get that shit in the hood, man. It's gonna be gonna the be nerdy going. nigga in the hood that's gonna hack that shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, fucking up, rob him, nigga. Telling your Tesla Kick robot up. to go walk up on your ops. Oh wow, gangster to gangster! Oh, that was like Chappie. Y'all ever seen Chappie? Yeah, nah, the movie Chappie. Chappie yeah. was a gangster. Yeah, he was a little gangster. But that all that thing can do is, hey, can you deliver this message? Can you walk over there and tell that nigga? Yeah, for now, get off my block. Grandma is gonna be sending it to the store. Uh-huh. Go on up there to the store and get that day old bread. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, and it better and, be a day old and the, uh, the black banana so they can make <laughs> banana bread that night. <laughs> That's exactly what Will Smith, uh, grandma character, was doing in the movie. Yeah, because he was She's, mad that she had one. Yeah. He's like, hold on, where'd you come from? Man. I do got those names ready if you want to do that. Uh, Fancy job titles for simple jobs. Yeah, so I was watching Pop the Balloon, and the guy was talking about him. Oh, he said he was an Uber driver, and a couple <laughs> girls popped on him. I was like, if he would have said that he was like a transportation specialist or something, oh, they would have never known. Yeah. So they made me look online. I was like, you know, what are some ways that you could 
change your simple job title and make it fancy. So there was a few lists out there. Uh, somebody said for a paper boy, you could do a media distribution officer. Facts. Damn, right. that shit although, sound <laughs> crazy. Although they don't exist no more. Right. That right. shit sound crazy right there. Uh, toll booth collector. You can be a coin facilitation engineer. That's a government job. That's not a bad job. I don't know, because the toll people be pissing me off. Shit, they <laughs> pissed <laughs> off. They got to take care of the whole city. <laughs> All right, a outside. dishwasher. Gastronomical hygiene technician. That's stupid. Oh, that that <laughs> You a dishwasher? You can't even say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I'm a gas. You know what I'm saying? Gas, <laughs> what? I'm a gas. Right. Uh, <laughs> Did I say this uh, with the school lunch? This. Did I say school lunch already? School nah. lunch server. Nah, what's that? School lunch server is an education center. Oh, education center nourishment consultant. Yeah, that sounds like school lunch lady. <laughs> yeah, hard. all the big ass words. You That's a hard. lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I try to think if I can make one up on the spot. I don't even know like a simple job. I would consider a simple job. You could always be like a, a custodian or a janitor. I, I used to think custodian was a priest, a prestige job until I found out it was a janitor. <laughs> See, they and got then you. I was like, nigga, that shit just a fancy word for, jan- for janitor. janitor yeah. Like, it's crazy. What would you name a car washer? Like somebody who <laughs> washed cars. Uh, vehicle enhancement specialist. Yep. yep, there you go. There you go. There vehicle you go. enhancement specialist. Right. So if y'all go on there, just change your job title. You ain't an Uber driver, nigga. If y'all going to pop the balloon? Yeah. You a goddamn transportation specialist. Man, right. you are loss prevention. That's you loss. Are operational internal auditor. There you go. Uh, is so that the, what that the is? The niggas at Burlington Co. Factory. <laughs> yep. I didn't see that nigga. I went there over the weekend. I didn't oh, see he him. wasn't in there? I didn't see him. I've been what, there twice. I've seen a man and a end. woman. What if you're nah, a professional he saw thief? You <laughs> <laughs> he was on his break in the back. Nah, what if you're just a thief? Hold on, hold on, hold on, young. What? I say, what if you're just a thief? Can you dress that up? <laughs> uh, a thief. Uh, an expensive item taker. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, nah, 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 nah. That sound like thief. That's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you could be a, a, like a, a thief. I was going to say like an A exp- locksmith? Maybe, no. maybe. I mean, nah, that shit. sound whack. For a locksmith, a job. I mean, you can get into something, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I get into shit. Locksmith. Yeah, you a thief. I can, I can get into some shit. Yeah. Asset uh, restructured. There you go. Something. There we Damn, go. Damn, girl. <laughs> that's a good one. You know, I'm into uh, asset restructuring. Do you hear the loss <laughs> prevention? <laughs> this found prevention. <laughs> <laughs> per Johnny Text, you could tell the three men up here have a lot of sex. Oh, because <laughs> our IQ low as fuck. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. I don't oh. have sex no more though, but I did back in the day. Shut your ass. I was a fool with it for Johnny, sure. You know, you man, know, yeah. that's yeah. when they was telling you it was small. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yo, I right, man. Back like um, when I was somebody's daddy. All right, yo, wow, <laughs> you still are. <laughs> Other type of daddy. I feel you. Okay. Uh, prayers out to everybody down there in Florida affected from, by Hurricane Milton, man. Uh, that made landfall as a Category 3. It's claimed 16 lives at the moment, and 2 million customers are without power right mm. now. Um, also, man, this week in pop culture, Diddy's trial is set to start May 5th, 2025. How long before we move on, if you don't have but two minutes? Why do people stay in Florida? Oh no taxes no yeah no taxes and it's a I reti- mean that's a good reason <laughs> it's a retirement state too people retire they got good weather year round they've been getting whipped by and hurricanes and it's one of the few states that will wipe your child support if you owe child support anywhere in this nation say what niggas <laughs> everybody about to be down in Jacksonville no wonder why there's so many niggas in Duval, Duval, Duval that County that. <laughs> that's crazy I never knew that I never knew that either all right go ahead um no and I was gonna say um people who are from Florida, live in Florida, they used to this. So, like, it's just another wall. It's like earthquakes in LA. Or it's tornadoes like, in, in the it? Midwest. Kansas. They so used to this. I'd rather be in an earthquake. I don't know. I heard, no. I heard watching the ground move is some different shit. I mean, both of them pretty bad. Sinkhole is scary. Yeah. And, both of them uh, pretty bad. Hurricane, you should know <laughs> it's water. coming. They can kind of tell you it's coming. I did hear somebody got hit with a hurricane, a smaller country this year. 
It was hurricane, but it started with a J. And they told him it was a zombie hurricane. Like mm-hmm. it was just chilling out there in the water and they weren't supposed to get hit. Then all of a sudden it just pushed it through. pushed through. Yeah. yeah I, I saw that. I forget the name though. Yeah, it was a small country in South America that got hit by it hard. Mm. Yeah. Prayers out to them, man. Um, well, I said the Diddy trial. And then uh, I don't know if y'all know. So Jag, this lady named Jaguar, is right, Jaguar Wright, she made an appearance on Piers Morgan's show like a, a, week, a week or two ago. I didn't talk about it here. Um, but she is a conspiracy theorist. She's known for like her Hollywood conspiracies. So she made it all the way up to Piers Morgan, which I did see that. And I was kind of like, how the fuck she get on there? Piers Morgan let anybody on these days. And when she got up there, she was saying Jay-Z and Beyonce going to be next on the list of people that the government is coming after. Well, this week, Beyonce and Jay-Z's people uh, pretty much had Piers Morgan issue an apology to them and um he also uh edited this part out the show so the interview is not in the show anymore Mm -hmm. um whatever i don't know whatever else was in that show but they had him take that shit out the show damn so that shit is gone i hear that shit yeah um all right man what y'all watching on tv all right we here already yeah we here Uh, okay oh i was gonna say about the pierce morgan thing was y'all niggas gotta stop lying man on people because they can sue your ass now mm-hmm. and oh, yeah. uh what's the what's the girl tasha k that cardi b sued the shit out of oh yeah she done that, for life running that back she's to, still doing it though she is still doing it because at this point she ain't got no money in no way um but i will say tapping that onto florida also that is i think DeSantis allows for lawsuit of defamation oh like yeah politicians yeah. or whatever can do that now so yeah i don't know why people be talking Saying stuff that ain't Crazy. true. Like, yeah, you can really lose your life. Well, I mean, Alex Jones was the first one mm-hmm. who said some shit that wasn't true. And I don't think... He got sued, too, right? He got sued. He owed them people billions. Yeah. Mm. He, he lost his whole net worth. Touch and I don't think people oh, realize, man. like... <laughs> yeah. I don't think people realize or, like, understand, like... You can't just say shit. Nope. Like, what, like even if it's true, you can't say it. You have to... You have to prove that it's real at mm-hmm. some point. And if you can't do that... Because you're screwing up... Well, they I mean, they don't know, but they they screwing up somebody's livelihood. Like, you, people can lose money off of these rumors that you're starting. If you're big enough to make them lose money, which Jaguar yeah. is. Because not every conspiracy theorist is big enough to cause right. friction. I know one of the biggest theories, if we go back to Florida, the, the weather machine. Yeah. The weather mm. machine. Yeah. And so... I normally don't get involved in these fights on the internet because I don't care. But when I see my family members posting shit, I kind of like be like, hey, nigga, <laughs> let me tap you on the shoulder because you look cra- like you sound crazy. So I did some research myself um, because everybody was quick to say, you know, the government could create hurricanes. So I'm like, you know what? People keep saying this shit. Let me go look. Let me go look. And so I found out what HARP was, what the program was and what it can do. And. It can't create a hurricane. It can't create a tornado. It's Trigger. in Alaska. Um, it create it, it does point an ionized beam up to the sky. Uh, I forgot exactly what it will cause, but it's used in studies for storms. Now, there's certain patents, and I don't think people know what a patent is. There's certain <laughs> patents for... Damn. There's certain patents for written, weather machines. Mm-hmm. For people who don't know, just because something has a patent don't mean it exists. You gotta. Oh, that's facts. Just like Terrence Howard. Y'all remember Terrence Howard interview? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Terrence Howard got a lot of patents. <laughs> a lot of them shit. For don't no damn exist. reason. <laughs> um, what's his name? What's the black man name? Uh, the astro, the astronomer, Ty- uh, McNeil. Neil, oh, Neil, Neil deGrasse, deGrasse Tyson DeGrasse. came back on Joe Rogan's show to tell you that hey, yeah, these patents are here. This shit ain't proven. This shit don't exist. These are all theories. So these patents that they have are theories. Now, one of the patents they got for a weather machine, which I found was interesting, is they'll use sound to be able to manipulate storm. So a storm is forming to make it grow, to make it produce rain, to make it produce tornadoes or turn into a hurricane. But the more research I did, I found out that the amount of sound that this I, that this device that they patent would have to use would e- would deafen the person closest. To, so it's almost like setting off a bomb. Uh, hmm. So like not only would it do you harm to even create this this catastrophic 
catastrophic thing you're trying to create, it's gonna create, it's gonna cause a lot. Like you're not just gonna do that shit silently. Like it, you're gonna, they, like they're gonna know you doing it. So I was just in the comments taking like the shit people were saying and then going and reading about the researching shit. researching it. Yeah, instead of you know, I could go look at some guy's YouTube video who read and came up with his own story. But I was just like, let me go see. And so I told my cousin, I just sent him all, like, I sent him all the shit so he could look at it. Like, you go look at this, read this, and then tell me what you think it can do. You know, and if you think it's the same thing, cool. And if you don't, you don't. But misinformation is dangerous. <clears throat> misinformation is dangerous because it gets people hurt. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I think it's important to always go read some shit for yourself. Which is also why. Or cite a source. Yeah, Beyonce and yeah, Jay-Z what, don't play. Yeah, like what's your like what are, what's your source? What are these claims like? Yeah, what I think Charlamagne it? sued somebody recently too, like some girl that said that he raped her or something. Yeah, you don't oh, play man. with me like that. Yeah, yeah that's wild. Right don't there. play with me like that. Like, because although you can't, like, they might be broke. <laughs> you kind of like, even if you sue them, they you kind of ruin their future because they yeah. can't do nothing after they lose the lawsuit. Even if they can't pay you, they're not gonna be able to buy no house or anything. If I had enough money and somebody was defaming my name, I would just do it to prove a point. Yeah. You know, I got enough money. I'm going to spend money to sue you and not make no money just to prove, like, man, don't play with me like yeah, that. Yeah, mm. you got to set the standard now. This is like, yo, we got to have, because especially the world mm. we live in now, Excuse people me. just can get online and say whatever they want. Yeah. And people are so uh, gullible or want wealthy or powerful people to be brought down so much, they'll believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. people are jealous of success, unfortunately. So when they see somebody that's very successful and it could be something that could ruin that success, they feed off of it. That's and they'll, true, they'll yeah. start retweeting, reposting and stuff like that. And those are the conspiracies that don't really bother me because, you know, I'm not those people. The ones that bothered me was like the Sandy Hook shit. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's, come on, man. Them kids, dog. Yeah. Those are families. Yeah, those are real people out there hurting somewhere. And the first thing you said to these people was, y'all made that shit up? Mm-hmm. And then everybody rolled with it? Man, dog, that shit fucked me up. I was sitting here watching that doc. I said, yo, they, these are kids. These, mm-hmm. are ki- these are kids. And that's why I say, like, I put it all in one bucket, but those are the ones that get me the most. Like, damn, the kid, like, yeah. Is, and where are you getting this from? Like, yeah. Every time I, I've had people say to me when schools get shut, you think that shit really, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. I think that shit really happened. I think those kids are really dead. They're really in the ground, and their parents are really somewhere morning. Like, Ooh. I don't think people are that cold. I just don't. <laughs> I went to, speaking of that, remember, uh, it was a while ago. And there was a shooting, um, it was a club in Florida, a gay club. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So that is now a memorial. So when I went down there, um, a friend of mine, she was like, I just want to go see it. And so to know that a lot of people said, you know, it was fake or it wasn't as bad as they said it was. So all they did to, you know, for this building, um, you go out there, they have people there to, you know, hug you, talk you through stuff if needed. They got screens and names of people that um, were deceased, but they just put like plexiglass around the building. So you literally see where everybody got shot at trying to get out the door. You see all these bullet holes coming through the walls. Like it was just so mm. real. So to know that people are on the internet saying that this was fake and it's like, this yeah. is literally across from a Dunkin' Donuts. Like we walk across the street and got donuts and coffee. After we were done, yeah, and this is where a bunch of people lost their lives just because they wanted to have fun. Like it's it's yeah, stupid. It's, it's, it's sad, crazy. Man. I forgot about that one, but I mean, I guess so many shootings like that happen that you go miss some of them. Yeah, no, nah, we have one. We Excuse have one me. few every month. Man, um, doggy dog. All right, man. Um, yeah, content corner, man. Listen, love is blind. Episode seven through nine drop. We're not even gonna waste no time, man. We just bullshit. Here we y'all. go. Here we to go. make sure y'all, y'all was really rocking with us. We just gotta make sure we, we got, got yeah. the ten minutes listening. Yeah, so we get credit for it. Now, actually, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't turn this shit off. It's about to get steamy. <laughs> Listen, man, love is blind is heating up right now. Um. I'm going to start with Monica and Steven because that's where we was at in the group chat. All right. Shout out to my, you know black, saying? To my uh, black brother. <laughs> Don't start that shit. <laughs> Aluwa Steven. <laughs> Aluwa Steven. <laughs> oh, man. I do want to start with you, man. Like, you. No, nigga. 
Like, first of all, so if y'all not watching, man, so I, I, I'll give y'all some backstory. So Monica yeah. and Steven is the is the is the interracial couple in the yes. show. Mm. Um, Steven is he's black. Okay, Steven is a fourth <laughs> black. Cut your shit, Johnny. A fourth black? Oh, he he's got a fourth. Black. He's fucking white. <laughs> but and Monica is a, is is a, a third white uh, bl- uh white her her damn self the way she be acting. But so they have they have left. Did we leave the honeymoon? Yes, we left the honeymoon in yeah. Cabo. And they had some stuff going on in the honeymoon, too, because... Should I start there? Let's should start. Should, we should got, I start we there? Yeah, give yeah, yeah. The story. You, I think we covered honeymoon last time. So, yeah, start there. No, oh, hold on. Oh, this is the end of the honeymoon. When we pick so, up... So, yeah, the, yeah. the honeymoon, the fireworks scenario happens. Ah, yeah, 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 And he's not around her when the fireworks are off, and she's upset about that. All right, so apparently Steven <laughs> told Monica, if y'all watching Love is Blind and you haven't seen episode seven through nine yet, skip past this. If you have, we recapping right now. So episode seven through nine. In episode seven through nine, we wrapped up the honeymoon phase. We'll start with the couple, Steven and Monica. Steven and Monica... Steven told Monica he would get her flowers. I, I want to start here because I feel like that's where the tension started on camera. Yep. She hadn't seen no flowers. <laughs> he came up with a bullshit excuse. Like, you know, I meant just like gifts and things. She said, oh, like, he was like, you know, I'll get you a Kate Spade bag. She laughed in uh-huh. his face and said, YSL? He's like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Louis Vuitton. I know you know what Louis Vuitton is. So off the rip, Steven got a woman he cannot afford right now. Mm. Facts. Now, she is a romantic <clears throat> woman. It looks to me like her love language is uh gifts, gotta, gifts and quality time. Probably. Gotta be gifts and quality yeah, time. Yeah, it seems like it. Because during this whole event, um, there was fireworks on the beach for the cast. Everybody rushes to see the fireworks, but he was in an intense conversation with Jared and they were talking. And what they were talking about, you're about to find out in five seconds. When Monica gets back, and Jared woman gets back there all sitting on the couch. He was like, yo, so I was just telling Jared it's going to be mad temptation when we leave up out of here. Oh, wow. You know, we've been on the show. These hoes might want to suck my dick. Oh, you know what I'm wow. saying? Kevin G. <laughs> Rick Kevin G. You know what it was? And, you know, Jared's girl, they Taylor. Must. I think her name is Taylor, right? Yeah, Taylor was kind of like. Shit. Taylor was like, uh, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> and so they kind of excused themselves from the conversation. Now, this goes deeper. Apparently this nigga's kinky. They go back to the room. Is it? Is this what she was talking about? You poke me a lot, which is because he's always hard. Yeah, yeah. And she, you know, she. He, I think he was. I honestly think he was trying to do butt stuff with her. But apparently, Steven's got a kinky side. He's real freaky. He's <laughs> into some nasty shit. Um, if we fast forward, this couple leaves. They go back to normalcy. I don't even think we really saw them much until that disagreement. I think they went on that date to make flowers. Yeah, they went on a date to make flowers. They had the conversation about the YSL bag back home, too. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but they went on a date to make flowers. Um, and then they had a few more conversations about flowers, of course, and him uh, not, you know, his actions not matching his, his words. words. Yes. Um, and then we lead into the, uh, the finale. All right, so the end of the episode, this is what I really want to get to. Apparently, Monica goes through this guy's phone. Now, did she tell how she went through the phone? She, she did. Okay, so me, I know you, you okay. know I, I know had to, what I happened. had to look it up. So she was trying to it, she was trying to reply to a cast member yes. on his phone. So she was replying to someone else and the message popped up. So Garrett and Taylor were supposed to they were supposed to do something that night like a dinner. And so Garrett had texted him back. And she's like, "Oh babe, Garrett texts back. Let me get to him while you in the bathroom." I, th- I don't know if he was in the shower, he's in the bathroom, but she picked up his phone to text him back. Yeah. Apparently, at the top, on the messages, there's a chick, woman brain, let me hurt myself. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> read. Let's see what y'all talking about. <laughs> Clicks. And she says, I just wanted to scroll back to see how long they've been talking, and I came across some shit. This is what she said in the interview. She don't say this on the show. She said this on the interview. On the show, though, all you see is her crying and Taylor trying to console her. That's when this nigga Steven comes out. And said, listen, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that nigga ever knew he was out. He, like, Shit, I'm good. <laughs> he said, listen, I feel bad. He was like, yo, I forgot what else he said, man. I can't remember verbatim. I just know he kept saying, yeah, you know, right. You know, right. I'm, I'm, you're right. I feel bad. I'm a bad person. <laughs> yeah. That's what person. you do. That's what you do when you just try to get out the situation. And it's funny because she said, don't give me that shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, nigga, I'm. I looked at the TV like, what else she he supposed to give her? <laughs> like, nigga, he is a bad person. She wants that nigga to show some emotion. He showed zero. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm went, hurt. And you ain't giving me nothing. 
to get hoes. He said he exactly definitely what did. he was doing. He definitely did. He was spitting game to her the whole time. Even from the pods. And once again, That's why he was just saying what she wanted to hear. Yeah, I'm black. I love interracial people. I voted for Trump, but I'm changing, Matt. I'm changing that this year. He just saying everything that needed to be said. Listen, man. Um, <laughs> I blame Monica for this. For being gullible? I blame Monica for not looking at the red flags and acknowledging the red flags and moving on. When I first seen Monica on the screen, I knew she was serious about getting married. I'm not trying to be funny here. The girl is 36, fam. Like, I know she not... I'm not saying everybody else on, on there is playing, but somebody 28, 29, 27, you know... It's, it's, it's a more bit, of an experiment. Yeah. Know. 36, you live some life. Yeah. So at 36, I expected you to nix this nigga in the bud, in the pods. Now, how y'all made it out the pods is astonishing to me because he gave you all the red flags there. Yeah. There was no need for you to tell me you was a quarter black. There was no need to tell me you voted for Trump. You know what I'm saying? There was no need to tell me you cheated in the past. Oh, yeah. I forgot he was already a cheater before. Like, you told me who you was, and I said, I do? Yeah. So, unfortunately, I was laughing when Monica got dumped because <laughs> I said, that's what you, you mean, get. You mean, man. That's what you get. <laughs> you, need, you haven't learned shit in 36 years. Damn. And this is why you're on this show. You're yeah. on this show because you don't make proper decisions. She I'm don't. sorry. But to be honest, you're right. She's talking about people's actions matching their words. Her actions don't match her words. Oh, get to it. Mm. How come? Uh, well, I'll Poetry. say this because she was talking about she not settling for anything. Mm-hmm. Settled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Settled. She's at the point in her life where uh, she's going to get what she wants. Okay. Uh, and by what he is saying, she didn't follow her own advice. She should have mm-hmm. known better by paying attention to what he was saying. Matter of fact, going on, matter of fact, that you said that going on this show goes against your own advice because to go on this show means you're prepared to settle in the looks department because I don't see what you look like. True. So when you get to the other side of the, the panel and this motherfucker, you said you say on camera, he's not normally what I would go for. Oh, so he's not attractive to you. Yeah. But she did say he had good sex. So I can't I bet he see did. He looks like he watches dickmas- a lot of porn. Listen, I can see a <laughs> sense of dickmasitation in there because he had the Venmo money he owed her. Yeah. She was keeping this man afloat. Uh-huh. I will say, Steven, you go down has a piece of shit on Love is Blind. Listen. But that was also yeah. some, some player ass he shit. Not even, he kind of like, <laughs> he might end up on that show Perfect Match that some of them go on I afterwards. But not. he don't look like, like usually they take the hot people and put them on Perfect Match. I don't know if he's qualified as hot. He looks like the cool version of Alex Jones. A little <laughs> okay, so you saying he's a piece of shit, and that is in comparison to who else do we have? Let's left on this show. Oh, on this show, he's the only piece of shit right now. Okay, he's the only piece of shit right now. Now, if we talking about in history, there's been some pieces. Of shit. Yeah, <laughs> but on this season, he's yeah. I say as far as the guys go, um, I mean Tyler did some crooked shit as we saw. Okay, you want to get to that now? Yeah, you let's do Tyler. Uh, well, yeah. we can wait. We can wait. First of all, why you hate him? Who, Tyler? Yeah. Because I knew it. Tyler. Tyler kind of the same way as the white dude. No, long time. He long a little time. bit of a manipulator. Listeners, I want to tell you, we watched this show on our own accord. <laughs> we got a group chat that we talk in. Johnny comes to the group chat instantly and says, Tyler is Aggressive. full of shit. Yeah, <laughs> when I first heard, when he did the prayer thing, I said, that ain't right. I said, Johnny, you're hating. Nah, I could just sense it, dude. Johnny I said, <laughs> I hope I'm hating, but I don't think so. I think Johnny was on to something. And I that- never thought Johnny was on. I still think y'all wrong about Tyler. I want y'all to know this. He my clay. <laughs> he your clay. <laughs> no, now you go ride hard Sounds for like him. Nigga clay. He bring, my clay. clay back for the next season. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> they can. He could be a host. He could be a host. He was playing in preseason. Nah, I, um... <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. I about, fuck with y'all. I fuck with you. Yeah, I know. I, I know. like that. <laughs> but now, nah, um, no, no, no. So, Is I still don't think Todd's a piece of shit. But continue your. Okay, I don't. Story. I want to say he's a piece of shit. Uh, not but, I'm sorry But yeah I would say that He's not who he's saying he is Okay so We know what was said In the mic In the mic For the, mm-hmm. for the list, listeners We know um, That there was some information Going around on TikTok About Tyler 
Has any of that spilled over into the show? That's how yes. the last episode ended. Yes. They basically had a conversation. I saw a little bit of interview that he did outside um, just recently, but apparently he wanted to tell her off camera that he has made children with someone as a sperm donor. So he did tell her that, but she wanted to have the conversation on camera after he said that. So that's why you get that scene at the end where they've already talked and now they're, he's explaining it to her. So basically, he's got three children outside that he's gave that he said he's donated to a friend that was having trouble conceiving. But he never mentioned that to her in the pods. Uh, had he met her parents yet? So hold up. He, he met, met her, her dad. dad. Okay, so yeah, he met her dad. And he still hadn't mentioned it to her, which if you're about to marry somebody, they might they might want to know that there are other children that I have out here. Even if you're saying that they are um, sperm, sperm donor donors things. and that she even tell her if he was still involved with the kids like in their life. And for what I'm hearing, he is involved in their life. So he's a dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was your question? Before I go in on Johnny. Hey, go ahead, go ahead and defend him. Oh. Go ahead and defend your, your, your Christian brother. No, well, first of all, the relationship between Ashley and Tyler is a good one. I, I honestly believe this because I thought Tyler was genuine in the pods. You know, I seen a man trying to be a good man in the pods. Now, who he is to these women that's coming out on TikTok saying he owed 30K in child support and all this other stuff. I mean, yeah, old girl on TikTok has confirmed some of these things, but we won't know it's true, and we won't really know what's going on with him and Ashley until we get through the season and figure out if they got married and are still married. Mm -hmm. But I really do feel like he's being genuine. Like, just because I kept that from you, that doesn't play... Like, I could have never told you. (laughs) Am I right or wrong? Yeah, that's the same shit they can say when they cheat. No, in this case, I can literally never tell you and we'll be okay. But that's not the situation because apparently he is in their life. So she was going to have to find out somehow. He Once again, these are not my kids. If I am a sperm, sperm donor, these are not my kids. Hey, I'm going on the show. I'm going to meet a wife. So you're going off if he's, pay, if he's telling the truth about actually not being in their life. Yeah, hey, I, I'm about to separate from this mm. because I got a wife and she don't want me doing this shit yeah. with y'all, you know. If that's the agreement. Now, I don't know the truth. I don't know the truth. I won't know the truth until this all is said and done. But I I do feel like he's genuine. I do feel like he wants to be married. And I feel like he wants to be with Ashley. I think they make a great couple. I'll give you that part. I think he do want to be married. I do think he want to be with her. But I just don't think he was being honest with her. I think No, I think he was being himself. I don't think he was being honest as far as who what his life entails. Like, I didn't tell you all about my life. I've been there too, though. We all have. Like, I've had somebody tell me information in month two. Yeah. You know, and I don't blame, I'm not mad at you. Like, I understand. Like, I would tell me that information in month two now so I can, because in month one, I'm out. (laughs) Yeah. But in month two, I got to think about it. So, am I mad at Tyler for the shit? No. But Ashley has a decision to make here, not Tyler. Because I feel like at the end of the day, it's love is blind. You're there to get married. If you really want to be married to her, then yeah, you didn't do the right thing by not telling her up front. But at the same time, she got to make the decision. Yeah, but wouldn't it have been nice to tell her that before she caught feelings? Because mm. now you kind of manipulating the situation by saying, I'm going to wait until she, she's starting to love me and then I'll tell her. I agree with that. I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. To sit up here and tell you I disagree with that would be some bullshit. I agree. <laughs> it was wrong. It was wrong. I, I'm not saying he's not wrong for that. I just... I don't see him as a bad person. I see him as a person who wants to find love and he found love, probably didn't even think he would find it. And now he's got to let this out. You know, he's got to let her know. You know what I'm saying? Is he, is his way of doing it is wrong? Yes. His way of doing it is wrong. He should have been up front. Y'all niggas got to be honest in the pods, but niggas be spitting game in the pods, just like they do in the streets. All right, man. Well, you can have it. I mean, that, that, there was really nothing on Ashley and Tyler because they're a good couple. They are. A lot of people said that it was their couple that they knew was going to make it. So that um, was a surprise. Well, while, while we're here, um, I'm going to just go through uh, Tim and Alex. Tim and Alex's relationship on the there next we go, one. Team Tim over here. They decide to keep going even after the argument. If y'all are keeping up, there was an argument last week. They decide to keep going. We still don't know what happened in the argument. Um, now, Tim met. Alex's parents I do find it weird And I don't know If y'all find this weird That Alex's p- 
parents had no clue about this experiment. Mm. They knew she was doing an experiment, but they don't know she's engaged. Yeah, it was, it was, they were a little... Her family was a little off to me. I don't I don't like talking about people with family, but they was a little off you to me. You think they were off? It's kind of weird. The brothers was kind of weird. I think the dad has some type of condition. He's got a... And the mom was kind of weird, too. Yes. You don't think she's off? Alex, I, I do. Yes. When I seen her yes. fucking house. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> when I see how messy she was, I was like, something ain't right in the head. Yeah. No, well, not that. Like, that's why I find it very interesting when she kept telling him, like, I don't like how you dress. I don't do that. And I'm looking at her like, and do you see our house? Like, we get in her house. We he got a step over <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, and, and like <laughs> you throwed a lot of judgment out there. Hey, right. she wouldn't be a real in the pods. Not at all. Hey, it go both ways. It do go both ways. But I'm not a big fan of Alex. I'm not a big fan of Alex either. I don't think they will make it. But she hasn't been forthcoming even with her family. Most mm-hmm. people tell their family, and that hey. that says a lot. That says a lot. Like, I feel like for him, that would make me step back. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if he took a step back. Like, hey, that's. Why you yeah, tell she's giving family? him a Talk about red flags. She's giving him a lot of red flags. Yes. And she's a fashion content creator. Well, maybe that's why so the house was so messy. Up. I, I, and you know, my, I don't, if, you, if you don't know this about me, my favorite thing to do is to like get online and look at content creators and try to figure out like how much do y'all make for real for real, right? Yeah. And just looking at the size of her apartment, I'm like, in D.C., I'm just like, all right, you got a closet in D.C. Because you can move to Maryland and get some, some good space for some money. Yeah. You got a closet in D.C. And it's, and it's junky. It's tight in that bitch. And there's rats in there. Yeah, DC. like there's it's like it's like New York. <laughs> I'm not saying her place has rats. I'm just saying. Right. So I did. I did a lot of judging. I, did, I judged her the whole time because hey, you didn't tell your family. Then you bring me over to your space. It's small. And then you got the nerve to be judging me on vacation and how I'm moving and what I yeah. do. Like and she I, talked about his couch. I'm like, his couch look way better than yours. His I pillows did, match at least. I don't remember his place. Was his place bigger? His yeah. place was nice as hell. Okay. I, I want to say his sense. place was a, was nice so much nicer. <laughs> yeah. But his place was nice as hell. I mean, granted, he was in the military and he got, you know, military people got money. Uh, they, he probably got a hell of a VA loan to get the uh, he place. just clean. Yeah, yeah. And it's like he was clean, organized. He had decorations and stuff. She was just all over the place. Yeah, Alex is going to lose out on a good one. Yeah. I, I feel like I feel like Tim is a good guy. Right. But yeah, I think she do got some stuff going on. Like I said, she's a little I thought she her family was a little off of you, right? Maybe she is a little off too. Uh because like it seems like she has to maybe as like a defense mechanism or insecurity, she picks on him a lot. Yeah. And tries to bring him down by some of the things that he's happy about. Like whenever you talk about his dog, she like she joking, but she you can tell she kind of serious about how she like talking about the love of his dog and stuff like that. And even with the couches, she was talking shit about his couches. I'm like, shit, look straight to me. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, it's to make her feel better. It's to put him yeah, down. Yeah, so it's something going up. on there, man. And um, and she not she not feeling him. It just is what it is. That could be it. You are not feeling him. Do you um, think that this was her her way of getting exposure as a content creator? Yeah. She ain't doing a good yeah, job. Yeah, I think everybody had their aim. I think Clay had an aim. You know, Clay had a whole business that was incorporated with the show. So yeah. I mean, I think everybody does have their their aim. Uh, some like I think that's a part of the game. Figuring out who's really there to get married and figuring out who's there for fifteen minutes of fame at this point because the show has grown in popularity since yeah. its inception. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much huge now. It's like a kind of like some of those reality shows that launch your career in reality TV. Yeah, this is probably one of them now. Definitely so about to start. Man. Will you all? I know I asked you earlier. Will you all be watching? Uh, Love is blind. Hold on, hold on. I I, I still got two more couples. Oh, left go ahead, here. go ahead. Marissa and Ramsey. Oh, uh, shout Mar- out to my girl Marissa. Man. Marissa. Uh, Ram. So Marissa and Ramsey uh, came to terms. He's not feeling her military service, and so you know he don't want to ever have her go back to the the military. But I think the most interesting that was the longest conversation too. It was, <laughs> but like, it was a good one. I was like, why could y'all y'all gonna spend ten minutes on this? It was a good conversation. Probably needed to be seen on TV. Yeah, ten minutes on that, but you couldn't show us. My boy yes. cheating, and you couldn't show <laughs> us the argument that the, uh, Alex and Tim had, but y'all gonna show us ten minutes of them having a conversation I about military service. I think they're saving service. the cheating and the argument for, for reunion? the reunion. Maybe so. I yeah. think they're saving it. Um, but Marissa's mom was the star of that episode. <laughs> yeah, she was real as hell. Marissa's mom wants Ramsey to sign a uh, prenup. Prenup. And Marissa's mom said, "Enjoy this little thing you got going on because marriage don't last long." I was like, "Boy, this woman need to heal." <laughs> she definitely do. She's <laughs> sick of it, but at least she real. 
Yeah, she was real as hell. She was real as hell. I fuck with Marissa Mom, honestly. I liked it. I liked it. I liked the whole conversation. I like who she is. Like, she's a tough mom. She raised them kids by herself, so I get it. Right. Totally understandable. And she had a tongue ring. I know Marissa Mom. Oh, yeah. I can see where Marissa get it from yes, now. I see. Marissa kind of a wild child, too. I love me some Marissa, man. I, she got to do something after this. Yeah, she'll lose cannon, man. <laughs> Last but not least, I want Jared to find his dick. Hmm? Yes, I want Jared to look down, look at his penis. Realize he has one and tell Taylor he don't want to go to San Diego. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> an interesting conversation there. I mean, he, 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 riding, he riding his lie right now. Jared is what I imagine marriage to be when it's unhealthy and it mm. doesn't get addressed. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of you sacrificing to keep her happy, but what is she giving up to make you happy? Right. I can see how that one I feel like what's going to happen is they're going to go to the altar and that's when instead of since he's had all these opportunities to tell her I think it's going to come down to the altar and he's going to then he's like oh, that's my last chance I got to say it now he told her already he did in a roundabout way he said I don't want my kids not knowing their grandparents oh okay like I don't know why that didn't click for her that he don't want to go and I don't know where where the middle is for them but I think there should be a middle ground there like like I, I don't know. I yeah, don't, maybe I don't know. Maybe they do San Diego until they start their family, and then they'll move back to raise the family. Mm. I don't know, but she yeah. wear the pants, man. I don't like. I, see, I, don't, I hate watching that. Like, I hate watching her wear the pants. Like, you a man, dog. You a whole man. Like, you get the final say. You know that, right? Not her. Like, in the relationship, <laughs> you do get the final say. He probably scared of this loser. Hey, sometimes you got. Hey, whatever. I'd rather be mm. happy. If that, uh, if that I means, mean, I'm with you. Sometimes you do gotta make that hard decision and just give up on it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like if if that's something for I'm, your peace, and then you'll eventually you'll realize you okay. Cause she's not giving. Like I haven't liked her since the pot. She's not giving up nothing. She's not compromising nothing. She put you on the hot seat, made you work for. I don't even like the fact that you asked her to be your girlfriend, and she said, "No, nah, I'm." I, like she could have been joking or whatever, which I could. T- I don't think she was. She was like, right. "Yeah, that ain't good enough." Yeah, it's, it's kind of sucks because you you don't know how long it it the the courage it take a man to ask these questions, and then you just kind of shoot it down with a joke. Yeah, I, yeah, it's like, yeah, I understand you trying to make him work for it, but you like, I give it to t- Taylor is the man in her relationship with Jared, and if he wanted somebody to tell him what to do and how to tie his fucking shoe. Mm-hmm. Right. What about my boy? Uh, what's Hannah's boyfriend name or a fiance name? I'm done with them. Because I'm fin. Yeah, I was done with <laughs> Hannah. Now I'm done with him. They a fool. <laughs> they actually comedy to be. Yeah, they'll probably be the only ones to make it. <laughs> no, they. I don't think they'll make it. But my man staying at his parents' house oh, was hilarious. <laughs> yes. And she had the chance to marry the rich nigga. Oh, she didn't miss out on nothing. She didn't, but it's just like, damn, to see the total opposite of this guy who's staying with his parents, uh, living in their basement, don't know how to do nothing, don't clean up around the house. She yeah. got to tell him to do everything. He looking for a mom. Oh, you think so? Who, him? Yeah. He going to need a mom because he not grown yet. He not growing up yet. So either he going to need a mom or he going to have to wait till he get older to realize what he like who he is as a person. But he just don't know much about life. Like, he don't know nothing about his finances. How are you going to get married and you don't know anything about your finances? That's true. That's true. That's People true. do it every day. Yeah. yeah. But as they shouldn't. They yeah. do it every they day. They do do it every day. And then they end up. End up divorcing. Divorced. And unhappy. Yeah. With more debt that they started with. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He's not mature. I, I, I caught that from the conversation. He's not mature at all. Right. He's not mature at all. I understand not knowing like stocks and stuff like that, but you got to have some kind of just of like, yeah, you know, at least I got 3% going to my 401k, something. Yeah, what's your plan here? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, that's all I have for Love is Blind. Shout out to Love is Blind, man. Keeping uh, me happy for two more weeks. Yeah, uh, that's been keeping me happy. Uh, you Are we going to watch Love is Blind Habibi? Is that what no, you I watched UK. UK was good. I watched yeah. some of Mexico. Mexico was straight. Habibi, Habibi, I'm straight. What's Habibi? It's the, gonna be like the Indian one, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, I might watch it because I, I like uh, Indian Matchmaker. Oh, okay. I like that show. It was. It was good. a girl from our gym on there. Indian, Ma- yeah, she was on it. Yeah, she was on it. 
Yeah, if you want to see uh, men who look down at their dick every day and know that they're fucking men, watch that one. And I oh, they I definitely going to be some <laughs> cro- controlling ass niggas on this. I don't think so. I, yeah. I, 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 don't, I think we're going to be in for We're going to learn surprise. something about yeah, Indian culture. The patriarchy culture. over there isn't under attack like it is over here. So those men... The way I, if they are, if it's if it's anything like Indian matchmaker, you won't see situations like Jared and Taylor on on over there because they don't do that. It's 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 really like it's a different vibe. I, have you watched Indian matchmaker? Watch I've, Indian nev- match- I've never seen it. Watch Indian I saw matchmaker a Jewish matchmaker and I said I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do love my love on the spectrum though. That's my show. I believe oh, um, man, Ultimatum. Awesome. I think aren't they coming out with a? They're gonna do gay couples. They did the lesbian couple Ultimatum. I don't know if they gonna do men. Oh, I did see the lesbian couple Ultimatum. I, I didn't watch so it. I thought they were gonna do mix in the mic or um, oh. men next time. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, they might. I ain't watching. It. But shout out to all my LGBTQ people out there for sure. Um. <laughs> also, man, the uh, last episode. I'll play of the it penguin. and let it run in the background so y'all get y'all views. Last episode, so the penguin was real good. I don't know if y'all watching that uh, episode. Did I three. watch that? Is that the one where uh, Vic, the Vic, was at the restaurant? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Shout out to Vic. Still watching the penguin. Uh, Aaron Hernandez, Doc. He's getting gayer every episode. Shout I heard him. about that. One. Not missing anything there. Bro got um, hard at the combine getting a massage. Yes. Oh. Um, <laughs> How? Hey, a man was touching on his his rump, and he's like, "I like how that feel." Five minutes. What y'all watching? Five we, minutes. We what I watch? Segment. Fight night. Fight night is Both good. I got the last episode. I gotta watch it. that. Uh, I'll probably watch it this weekend. Fight night is really good. The podcast that goes with it is really good. Uh, Abbott came back. Abbott Elementary. I haven't watched that in a few seasons, but shout out to I'm Abbott Elementary. Shout out to Quinta. Shout out to them hundred thousand dollar checks they cash in per episode. Yeah, uh, I did watch the Doctor Umar Donnell Rawlings interview, and that shit was actually I never seen Umar uh, debate a white guy before, <laughs> and I was like, yo, this shit is kind of. Uh, I thought he was gonna go harder on the white guy, but did you send it? I sent it to the group. I'm yeah, about yeah, to watch yeah, it. yeah. Because right. Donnell Rawlings co host is a white guy that dates a black woman. Oh, and he's like he's been waiting for Umar because he had all this like facts and stuff, and I I feel like. Umar didn't know what he was getting into, and I didn't think that was fair of the white guy to like <laughs> to do that to Umar. <laughs> Not nah, Umar. Not Umar. Getting stuck. Because he was like bringing up facts about apartheid and shit. You could tell the white dude had done a lot of research on black culture and shit, mm. and wanted to prove to Umar that a white man could be an ally. Mm. And uh, Umar, Umar, oh, that's was, what he was doing. How did he prove it? I, I'm just curious. He was it, to me because Umar. He kept saying, "Umar, what can I? What can someone like me do to help out like the black culture and stuff?" Umar was like, "You can't do nothing until you denounce your privilege." And uh, he was like, "I do denounce my privilege every day." And, but they were just going back and forth. It's a long conversation. Every day. And, and Donnell told- Rawlins, ru- actually, Donnell ruined it because Donnell kept trying to chime in with jokes. I'm like, come on, bro, let these niggas have a back and forth. No, that's Donnell's job. Yeah, it's a pod. It's a reality show that is a podcast or some shit. That's ah, the I, I saw it on YouTube. Yeah, Donnell Rawlins podcast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, he say he told Parks how to deny- denounce his white privilege. But it was some shit like if if I was white I wouldn't do that like I'm I don't need a white man to denounce his white privilege I'm I'm actually cool actually I just need black people to fucking fuck with black people but if you want to fuck with a right. white man that's but cool. Umar did uh, Umar he's like uh, he told when Umar found out he had a black girlfriend Umar was like well I would want to talk to the sister and tell her ask her why does she hate herself and why do you want to be a slave owner got the slave owner complex or some shit mm. <laughs> I said, damn, why let him know? <laughs> Yo. But that was, I, I was cleaning up while I was listening to that one. That was a good one. That man, Umar, boy. Like, shows wise, I'm not, I mean, you nah, know, that, everything that, and then the new basketball series. Oh, yeah, we're going to get to that right after. I do want to hear y'all Mount Rushmore, a slasher villains. That was a oh, great yeah. question. It's October, it's Halloween. Mount Rushmore, a slasher villains. Get it. Jason. Mm hmm. Uh, Michael Myers, mm-hmm. uh, Leatherface. Okay, okay. Yeah, Leatherface on there. Uh, Freddy Krueger. That's, uh, that's it. That's, that's four. four. It's four. That's it. Yeah, you can only do oh, four. Oh, you can't fit nobody on there. No, who you? Do uh, I got an? I got an honorable. Who's gonna be at the pe- pebble at the bottom? <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, let me think about this. One. Somebody bought their kid to work. Who was a hell of a sculptor? Candyman. <laughs> can, can, Candyman. Candyman. Right. First of all, first of all, hold up. Go back. Take. 
Michael Myers down. Put Candyman in. Okay. This nigga is a great. Is it because he black? If you say yes, then yeah. I'm cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gotta have some diversity up there on them killers. Who y'all got, man? <laughs> um, I would say I agree with Leatherface. Jeepers Creepers. Um, Slasher? Jeepers Creepers? I saw it. Nah, that, Jeepers was out yeah, there. Yeah, I, I haven't seen the low budget Jeepers Creepers, and I'm still like, okay, this is a good movie. Okay, all right, cool. Jeepers Creepers. Um, what's my man name? Uh, Crumpus. All right. Who? Oh, okay. Crumpus. Crumpus. Who's Crumpus Santa? is actually, uh, that's Santa Claus, right? Yeah, yeah that's Santa Claus. Yeah, for yeah, the yeah. bad kids. Yeah. Oh, Crumpus. And then, um, I would say Donald Trump. <laughs> Jason. Honorable mention, just because I got to fuck with the culture of uh, Leprechaun from the hood. Oh, that's a good one, too. All right, nigga. Who you I got? was going to put uh, my dude from Scream, uh, the face from Scream, because it's been multiple people. Ghostface. <laughs> yeah, Ghostface. Uh, Jigsaw. I don't even know if he considered a slasher, but I put Jigsaw in there. Yeah. Uh, Freddy Krueger. And uh, Jason, I can't consider Jigsaw a slasher because he don't slash shit. The machines yeah. do the slash. Like, yeah. They don't he run set up it on up niggas. and he get them there. He out running up on niggas. I would have gave you the guy from Urban Legend. That's slasher. I mean, he's yeah. not famous, but I don't know what Jigsaw. Listen, Maybe it is a saw more of a thriller than a horror. Give y'all the legit. Oh my god, you slasher go. villains. Mount Rushmore. Now, Leatherface was a good one. Mm-hmm. Now, he didn't make my Mount Rushmore, the official Mount Rushmore. But Leatherface will probably be on the official Mount Rushmore. But my official Mount Rushmore is Ghostface, mm-hmm. Michael Myers, mm-hmm. Jason, mm-hmm. and Freddy Krueger. Mm-hmm. The catalog yeah. is too long. I mean, yeah. I would say that's probably I mean, well, the, 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 the yeah. consensus. That's it. But I was yeah. trying to throw some other people in there. I mean, Leatherface yeah. is honorable mention. You got, okay. I forgot about Le- like yeah. Leatherface was yeah. he OG. I'm sure we're forgetting a lot of them. Because I would say it, it's scary as hell. Yeah, it's scary as hell. He got a big but when ass. When you say though. slasher, it's a specific. You category. mean like people just going and chasing people and killing? Yeah, them, them niggas mm. is the slash. I you, guess I mean more like horror villains. Would you okay. count a uh, predator as a slasher? See, that's where it get icky because now they got alien he's in a the predator. terror yeah. category. Yeah. But I mean, that's what he do. He go out there, he hide, he sneak a, up on you. Then when he catch you, what he do? He got that. It's a thin line because that movie's action. action more so than it is horror. It got a horror aspect to it. That's what they say about Alien. That's what they say about Alien. Aliens yeah. in that, it's on that line. Like people want to put it in the scary, but is it a scary movie? I don't know, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm more scared of a predator coming after me than an alien. I'm scared of both. Oh, yeah, both of them got me. I'd yeah. rather have an alien than a predator after At least my I can see a predator alien. just might shoot me. A alien predator, about to do a something predator, disgusting. Nigga, yeah, nah. what? That nigga's Hell gonna no. play with you. He gonna yeah. make you think you got away and then he gonna appear hey, on your I, ass. He ain't gonna do that to me because I'm gonna just show up. Shit. Bro, just take me right now. Nah, he ain't, he ain't gonna, gonna do let all you. that chasing. He ain't gonna let you. He ain't gonna do all that chasing. And the ill shit is he take your neck and your spine out and that's the trophy. I ain't gonna feel yeah, that's it. Too, he don't. He don't want to do no easy I shit. I ain't feel but it. You can't hide. I wouldn't want that shit. You can't turn the lights off. Now you can. You hide. can't hide. You can't hide. From the predator. Yeah. yeah. You can put some mud on you. Put your oh, like on. the Indian lady. Nah, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bring your body temp down. Yeah, man. You can hide from that nigga. See, he do got like blind spots where you can beat him, but I'm still scared of that nigga. I'm not fucking with Predator. That nigga could be either way. Aliens is disgusting, bro. With an alien, you can see that nigga. You can shoot him, and you could possibly beat nah, him. Nah, because if you yawn, you catch you slipping. Well, nah, they gotta be a face crawl. <laughs> alien might be a alien. Crawl. And alien be might fuck around and impregnate you. <laughs> you could be Predator. Next thing you know, you a baby mama. <laughs> you can't be Predator. You stupid, <laughs> and you a throat goat all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. But uh, try raising a kid by yourself, nigga. That's the horror. <laughs> Yo, that's sick, bro. That nigga bust out the nest early. <laughs> Yo, wow. He leave the nest. Say Please fuck it. Up. This is my little. This is my son, Daquan. He have alien. Ah! <laughs> if he Daquan. act up in school, just give me a call. I'm a cuck busy. You stupid. Yo, um, that nigga you know that nigga uh, killing the wig too. <laughs> 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 they gonna kill her. all the infamil. Yo, you stupid. stupid. <laughs> Listen, man. Him. Shout out to Peyton Manning and LeBron James. Starting five has been really, really good. Uh, 
It's on Netflix. If y'all get a chance to check that out, it follows Anthony Edwards, Demonis, Dominus, Sabonis, mm -hmm. LeBron mm -hmm. James, Jason Tatum, and Jimmy Butler. I'm only on episode. I thought, uh, Anthony Edwards was on. Oh, that too. I thought you said Ant. I thought you said that first. Or maybe I said you said Anthony Butler. Edwards first. Yeah, I'm maybe sure. you said Butler I'm twice. Sleeping. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it follows them. I'm only on episode six. I will say uh, the biggest thing I did notice, you could tell LeBron has total creative control because you don't get as many candid moments of LeBron as you do of everybody else. So anybody that's looking at this show trying to see a little bit of insight on LeBron, like I peeped how on Christmas Day, he didn't allow the cameras in his house. That was family time. It just so happened that his mom recorded their whole Christmas so you kind of see yeah. what it was like but I can see how he has creative control but I thought it would be a bad show because he was on it but it still gave us a lot of insight I'm uh, right now my biggest takeaways is I really like Jason Tatum mm -hmm. as a human being like, I didn't know who he was I wasn't familiar with Jason Tatum the person I haven't been familiar with him since he left Duke but um, just watching him be a father first of all yeah, um, it's, you take it's, good care of Deuce. Yeah, it's dope. Um, it almost made me feel like dude, Deuce got a mama. I <laughs> yeah, I keep asking myself like, where's mama at? Um, but I love it. I even with Jimmy Butler kids. Yeah, now like, I know they got a mom. At? Yeah, they got a nanny. You seen the nanny? Yeah, yeah, I know they got a mom. Um, they mom is Rachel Nichols. <laughs> Shout out, man. Rachel Nichols ain't having no more kids. Um, Shit. Anthony Edwards, and it's fun to see like Anthony Edwards is twenty two. Demonis Sabonis is about twenty seven. Uh, Jason is 26 um, Jimmy Butler is 34 LeBron James is 39 And it's really dope to see um, How people at certain ages And stages in their careers move So when you watch Anthony Edwards He's on a rookie contract He's got the smallest house out of all of them It's a practical house in Minnesota um, He got the big Lambo But when you watch Anthony Edwards His people is with him yeah. His barber, his niggas from back home, uh, his sister, his baby mama. Like, he's really a child. And you can see somebody who is a great basketball player, but has a person is still maturing in certain areas of his life. I believe 10 years from now, we won't see anybody but him, his kids, and his sister. And if he gets married, his wife. But yeah. right now, I see, I kind of look at Anthony Harris and see, like, he getting paid to play basketball. He's so young, and I feel like I know people taking him for a ride. Yeah, definitely. Like, I can see it. Um, and then when you get to Sabonis, you see just a man with a, a family man. You know, he's married, got kids, and he focuses on basketball. I think the most important thing is I notice all the season vets have routines. LeBron's being the best of routine, but they all got routines. And I thought it was dope to watch everybody go through what their pregame ritual is and what they do to get their mind ready for a game. Um, What's the best one? Of course, LeBron. Yeah, the LeBron's best one. is. You think so? LeBron's is uh, scheduled to the T. Yeah. Uh, LeBron has the best one because he's been doing it so long. And we're watching somebody like who's been at their job for so long that, like, he, he ain't doing. Like, Anthony Edwards show up and ball. But Anthony Edwards is telling you in the doc, like, hey, my first couple of years, I just showed up and played. Now I'm working out and I'm trying to do this diet thing and I'm trying because he's seeing like all right I can't just show up and ball. Yeah. Um. Demonis Sabonis is in the gym all the time working on his game on his game. Um. Jason Tatum same thing which you don't see a lot. I think Jimmy Butler has the best one because his is more like tranquility, peace, lengthening his limbs more so. He focuses on his uh like stretching and just being zen. Everything about Jimmy Butler is so zen. It's very peaceful. It's uh. It's quiet. It's calm. Even before the game, a game of dominoes with his father is how he prepares to play basketball every day. And it's just dope to watch. And then his routines are more so getting stretched out and doing yoga and flexibility drills. And LeBron's is I, – I look at LeBron for being 39. For somebody to play 82 games, you would have to warm up that way to go play basketball. Yeah, You can't do what Anthony Harris – Anthony Harris can eat a bowl of cereal right out of bed and go play – that nigga bust down some dominoes. I was like, I already know how that make my stomach feel. Yeah, bust down some <laughs> dominoes, go hoop. LeBron at his age, nah, I got to go to sleep. 
<laughs> I got yeah, he had nap schedule. Yeah, he got nap schedule, sleep time schedule. He warms up. He's at the stadium all day for a game. So it's it's so interesting to watch yeah. these guys. And they didn't mention that, but I know he got two houses in LA, one near the stadium and one that he lived at in Beverly Hills with his family. Oh, okay. But they didn't put that. They probably I mean they probably didn't want to put that. It might have been the first out. house. Remember the first house he's coming out? He's like in a neighborhood, residential area. Oh, maybe they so. The car. Yeah, because I think he stayed where Drake and them stay at. Like, that's where that's the family the at. Yeah. yeah, and then they got a house like that's close to the arena. And that's what I'm talking about. I yeah. think at the beginning, you watch him go to the arena. He's coming from that house. Yeah, It don't look so. nothing like that same yeah. house. Um, it's dope, though. It's dope to see, man. It's, it's a it real, is, man. Real you learn a lot show. about him. Um, I'm with you. Uh, to me, Jason Tatum. They painted a good picture for Jason Tatum. I'm not saying they painted, but they showed like more of like who he really was and why he could be the future of the league. Um, and then you see Ant Edwards, which is like you said, a kid from Atlanta. He's still a kid, like he doing shit that I do. We beatboxing on the table. Somebody yeah. drop a beat and I'm rapping. Yeah, we eating chips. We cussing. I don't know how far you got. Uh, did you see when he had his baby? Yeah, I seen. That. Okay, yeah, this nigga. <laughs> he's just wilding in the hospital. You know me and him share a birthday. There Not, you go, man. What, August yeah, 5th? August 5th. That's what's up. Shout out to Ant-Man and you, man. Yeah, man. I what share her? a birthday with weird niggas. I knew I liked him. I think it was dope. I, uh, I think it was dope to see him lead the game. Yeah, yeah. He got up out of there. Like, lead the game. He like, didn't put a belt on. He was looking like you. Like, when I seen it on <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. He was, though. Damn, Unk. <laughs> It's funny though, because when we seen it on TV, they was like, "Yeah, out for personal reasons." Yeah. But to see that he literally took the jersey off, threw some pants on, hopped in the car, went to the hospital. That's what he did. Like, wow. Like he really yeah. left the game. Like, and he didn't want to leave. That's right. the crazy part. But he's, you can tell he a good kid. Like, he's a good. He kid. just, he just a nigga. <laughs> but he a good kid for that sure. From Atlanta. Hey, where my jersey at, man? <laughs> he ain't got me no jersey yet, man. I was like, yo, these niggas be taking it for a ride. I can tell. Bro. Yeah, for sure. I can tell. I can't wait to get to the end of it, man. I want to see how this thing ends. Um, don't laugh. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you how it's going to end. I mean, I know how it ends, but I want to know how it ends. I want to know how they wrap this up because gotcha, it's real. Gotcha. It's real good. Gotcha. Yeah, but I want to see LeBron like. Do you still think they don't play 82 games hard when you watch stuff like this? Nah, I think they do. I think every game means something to them. Because a lot of people, a lot of people be like, man, 82 games, they take games off. I think even, I think they take days where it's like, all right, this should be easy. Yeah. Let's let's try some different stuff. Let's let's shorten the minutes. And then every now and then you get surprised. But yeah. I don't think you go out there like, if we lose, we lose. Like, even with LeBron, it's like, I want to fucking win. Yeah. Every game, mm-hmm. every night, I want to win, and when I don't win, I feel away. Right, and so I think that's, I think that's, I think it's dope for the casual fan to see it because a lot of times you'll see fans in the comments like, "Man, the season too long. They don't even be playing hard." Like, nah. Yeah, <laughs> and I like how they did the in season tournament. They they got me excited about the in season tournament this year because last year I wasn't really excited into the championship game. But to hear them describe like what it means and what it yeah. means for the people on their team that don't make money, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, it's like you, you want to win it just for the people that help y'all practice. Yeah, like that's dope. That's dope to hear. Um, while we in sports, man, I did want to ask y'all, man. So LeBron James and his son took the floor, and there's been a lot of photo ops. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, a few blocks. I've been feeling. I've been watching it. I'm big on Bronny. I told y'all this. I watched him play. I think he would be a great NBA basketball player. Um, but do y'all think just watching him so far in the preseason that uh, him being a part of the Lakers is kind of we all say we all say we know we all say LeBron got him this job. We mm-hmm. all say that. Mm-hmm. You know, even the sports cast say. Do y'all think his father is doing him a disservice just to get this photo op? Man, look, no, but. <laughs> Yes, at the same time. It's just like, he got to let him be him, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like with Bronny James right now, he he just, I don't know. It's hard to explain because I think his defense is like the best thing he got. It is. You know what I'm saying? Like, his defense is really good. And you you would think being good on defense would translate to offense. But it just ain't clicking for him just yet. I don't know what he needs to do. Maybe he need a year in the G League. I don't know. Maybe the summer Drew League. I don't know. But I don't know. I know defensive players in the NBA go far. They go really far. So he will always have a job. 
just yeah. being defensive. But I mean, niggas want to see you jam on somebody, man. Your daddy could jam on somebody. You can't do that <laughs> shit, bro. I mean, I think to answer the question, I think he, I do think it's a little bit of a disservice. Um, and I also think that him playing in the league and playing for the Lakers fits more to LeBron's legacy than it does with Bronny. Cause it's like he first got to play on the court with his son. It's just something to add to LeBron's legacy instead right. of more of helping out Bronny. And because when I watched some of the game highlights, it looked like the game was moving too fast for Bronny. Um, you can see even they was highlighting that block he had, but the reason that he had that block is because he threw an errant pass, like a lazy pass, and he had to get back on defense to, yeah. to, to cover up his mistake. What's the little uh, Spanish guy from Phoenix? He's, his last name started with a C, but he was the point guard against Bronny that night, and boy, he was cooking his ass. Yeah, he and then the rookie, the, um, the rookie, uh, the other rookie, Dillingham, Rob Dillingham. Yeah, Rob Dillingham is a real rookie. You yeah. can tell the difference between them two because Rob Dillingham was balling. He got blocked though. That was the block that he got. He got it on Rob. Oh, but I was just saying over the course of the game. He was balling. He yeah, looked he like was. he deserved to be there. Balling. LeBron and Bronny just looked like he was moving too slow for the game. Could have been nervous, but I think he's going to take a lot of development for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, but just to answer the question, I think that it fits more for LeBron's legacy to see him and Bronny on the court more than it does for Bronny. Do y'all think once we get these... He the first player to play with his dad. In the NBA, yes. Yes, mm-hmm. in the NBA, yeah. I mean, hey. All right, that's a little bit of legacy. I see you. I see <laughs> yeah. you. Do y'all think once we get that official 82-game season, actual game game, all right, y'all played in the actual game game, do we get that moment where they move him down to the G League so they can start developing him? Uh, that nigga never going to the G League, nigga. That's LeBron's son. Nah, he going to the G League. Hell I think no. what's going to happen. I do. I think it's going to be a 10-day contract. Injuries going to happen on the Lakers. Um, and then it'll happen, and we'll get to see it. I mean, LeBron on that show said that people think that he runs the team, but he really don't. But honestly, looking at it, you got your best – your podcast friend is your coach mm-hmm. for your team. You got your son to get drafted. Mm-hmm. It's like you do – have some influence on the team. Yeah, nah, nah. I, I agree. No, listen, I I don't disagree. I'm not saying that, like, when I said, like, even LeBron said it, I'm just saying, like, even LeBron recognized that there, there's, like, a there's a hierarchy here. Of course you got influence. If you yeah. watch Showtime, the fabric, you know, the dramatized version of the Lakers, Magic had influence, you know. Mm-hmm. You're the star player. Yeah, you got influence. What's going to make you click? What's going to keep this team together? Even when you watch starting five, he's, hey, we running horns. We running this. We running that. He's calling that play, yeah. not Darvin Ham. So at the end <laughs> of the day, yeah, he, he he got heavy influence. But I do think the final call comes from the Lakers. At some point, we've, we've seen all our stars finally get that. Yeah. I'm not doing that for you. Yeah. We've seen it all happen to all of them. But, yeah, he got the influence. I I don't disagree. He like he didn't like the minutes restriction, and the next game he wasn't on minutes restriction. Right. Hey, this not gonna work. All right, well damn you off. So I agree with y'all, and I do I do want to point this out. This would this is the first time there's been a father son son combo where the media is like he don't deserve to be there mm. because when Ken I I watched it. I don't know if y'all seen the Ken Griffey Jr. documentary. Ken Griffey Jr. played with his father. Yeah, but Ken Griffey Jr. was really, really good at baseball. The future of the, the he, MLB. Yeah, so it was like he deserved to be where he was at, and it was you know it was all good. Um, so I'm not saying Bronny don't deserve to be there. All I'm just saying is he's gonna have to he's gonna have to develop. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he dog water, but yeah, he need development. <laughs> dog water. Definitely uh, dog water. a lot, a lot of development. But uh, I, I was, oh, my bad. Go I was going to say Cornette and all them other guys, because they rookies too. Cornette definitely going to the G League. To connect. Yeah. The white boy. He the can play boy. though. He can play, but he definitely going. Yeah. If anybody He'll probably going, go. he going. They don't really need him for the season right now and let him go develop for sure. They're trying to make him into a shooter anyway, but go ahead. Uh, all right, man. Uh, the Jets fired their head coach after week five, another week five loss. Mm. Week six, man. What can we look forward to in the NFL, man? 
You know, I don't really uh, have any good matchups. I think uh, damn, I should have pulled it up. Commanders are on fire right now. Yeah, the Commanders is looking good. Look like like and Jaden Daniels is looking great. He's one of the people that they talking could win the MVP this year. Uh, him and Baker Mayfield, which Baker is surprising. The Bucks on to hear fire. them too. I'm gonna be real. Uh, the be Vikings real. are undefeated. The Chiefs are undefeated. So a lot of stuff that you thought was going to happen in this season didn't happen, and it's a lot of surprises there. Um, let me see. Uh, Shout out Panthers, to my uh, Carolina Buffaloes, though. We, oh yeah, we, we got, got a prime time game. We got. You think we're winning? Shit, <laughs> we gonna surprise them boys. Who we play? Who, who? Kansas State. They thirteenth in the nation. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Um, who the Panthers got this week? Before we get uh, the Panthers play da, 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 Atlanta uh, Falcons. Yeah. All right. Good luck. We need to play a G- JV squad. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we, we got the good. red rifle, bro. Andy Dalton. We got, got a high school varsity. We just got a lot of injuries on the defensive side. We're fucked. Yeah, we're going to win this week, man. We good, man. I ain't worried about Kirk because we're going to have to score. But this shit better than win. last year, nigga. At least I'm coming in with hope. Yeah, at least last we got hope. Year, I was like, God, no matter. We sorry. And Bryce Young came in last game. Yeah, that's how bad we did. That, that last <laughs> yeah, game was like, Go ahead, put the little nigga in. <laughs> well, you guys will be happy. We still on sports. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. But what? Oh, you'd be happy to know that uh, the Hornets won their first preseason game. They won a few preseason games. Yeah, yeah well, I've seen one of them win one. Oh, how my boy Miles Bridges do? He lost. He lost to New York, and then they. Won. Oh yeah, you're right. They did. They won a few. Yeah, yeah, because they, they won against uh Memphis as well. Yeah. How Miles doing, man? Miles Bridges has been kind of quiet. Mm. It's preseason. I mean, he he. You know, he doing Miles yeah. Bridges things. I'm just like, damn, we got him for a steal. He just need to start balling again. You know who really balling, though? Trey Mann. Really? Trey Mann out there looking that like Allen Iverson. That to do with damn. the baggy shorts? Yes. Yeah, yeah, they say he balling. He, right, bro, bro, out there balling. I might catch a Lakers game. I've been looking at some tickets, so I want to go see a few games. Uh, mm. WNBA Finals right now. Shout out Liberty to the Lynx. Liberty Lynx. Lynx up one. Uh, by the time you hear this show, we'll see game two is on Sunday. Um, other than that, man, y'all got final thoughts? You know, shit, man. Not really, but uh, give us y'all four for the uh, Mount Rushmore of the Slashers. That's, that's a funny you want to do it again? <laughs> oh, you talking about to the people? Yeah, yeah, oh, to the yeah, folks. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tired. Uh, be honest with these women, bruh. That's the least we could do. Stop faking prayers for pussy. There you that go. That's was a not good one. Faking I'm putting that on a t shirt. <laughs> Stop what? Faking prayers for pussy. Faking prayers for pussy. Yeah, that's a good one, man. I'm trying to even wrap my mind that's, on how that's you That's a good pain. one. Are you praying to God for something? You know. Yeah, write down in the book what you think a good man is. Reflect on yourself, fellas. Man, don't even get me started. Don't get me started. Come also, on. Also, before Jay. we leave out of here, man, I want to send a rest of peace to Sissy Houston. She died at 91 years old. This That's week. crazy. Yeah, man. man. Good long life. Good long life, man. Oh, man. Other than that, man, uh,. That's it. That's my episode 320. Thank you for joining us today, man. If you like this show, man, subscribe to us. Subscribe to us. Subscribe to us. We on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, uh, SoundCloud, SoundCloud, and YouTube. So if you're watching this, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment. Other than that, man, I'm signing off for D. I'm signing off for James. I'm signing off for my boy Jukebox Johnny. We want you guys out there to love the life you live and the people in it. Find the positive in every situation and live in the moment because this life is not forever. I'm John Man Jones. We're going to talk to y'all on the next ride. Peace. Oh, shit. Peace, peace, peace. Yeah. One pinky, one finger, one thumb. Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> one index finger, one middle finger. Peace. Yo, shout out <laughs> to my nigga Cam, man. Oh, Kirk, yeah. Tell Kirk Cousins fuck with that, nigga. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>